Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. Although mass can be rearranged or changed in form, it cannot be created or destroyed during a chemical reaction. So why is it, after some reactions, that there is less mass in your test beaker? In this video, we'll demonstrate why this is the case. In short, the total mass of the starting materials, the reactants, will equal the mass of the product. This statement summarises the law of conservation of mass. When, during an experiment, you find there is less mass in your test beaker, the nuance to understand is that not all formed products stay in the test measurement vessel. Often during a reaction, we will see losses in mass in the form of gaseous elements. Unless you cap your test vessel tightly and have a completely closed system, a change in mass could occur. This experiment is an easy way to test the mass conservation principle's efficacy using an effervescent tablet. Effervescence is the escape of gas from an aqueous solution, resulting in fizzing and foaming. The tablet will break down in water, and for many types of effervescent tablets, the element most often released is carbon dioxide. For this experiment, we are using a glass beaker, room temperature water, a balance or scale, effervescent tablets, a Ziploc bag, this is optional, this is just to show gas release, a stopwatch, and a sealable container, for example a beaker with a bung or a test tube. Starting with the open container, place the empty beaker onto the scale and tear it. Pour water into the beaker. Then place the effervescent tablet onto the scale next to the beaker and record the total weight. Add the effervescent tablet to the beaker, then start the stopwatch. Record the mass every 30 seconds until 5 minutes have elapsed. After this, remove the beaker from the scale. For this experiment, we repeated the first test, but inside a Ziploc bag. The bag unfortunately was not enough to seal in the gas and stop what appears to be mass reduction, but it did demonstrate the release of gas by the effervescent tablet. Next we have a completely closed system. The mass of the tablet and the water in the TED container is 43.8 grams. Add the effervescent tablet to the beaker and start the stopwatch. Record the mass every 30 seconds until 5 minutes have elapsed. As a bonus, take the sealed container off the scale and uncap it. Place it back on the scale, then record the mass. When opening, the hiss we hear is a familiar sound of gas being released as the pressure that was built up inside of the container equalizes. Reweighing the capped container now results in a reduced mass. For the open beaker, the combined mass of water and the effervescent tablet started at 208.13 grams. When wholly dissolved, the final mass of the remaining product was 207.62 grams. This was a reduction of 0.51 grams. The mass of the capped container remained steady around 43.6 to 43.8 grams. After opening the container and reweighing it, the mass had reduced 0.6 grams. We conclude that the conservation of mass principle holds, and although many chemical reactions appear to involve a change in mass, this is simply because not all matter has been accounted for. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.